Good morning and welcome to Manhattan College Knowledge, your source for MC news and views. I'm Haley Burnside. And I'm John Jackson. Let's get into today's top stories. As the weather gets warmer, the construction workers continue hammering away at the newest addition to campus. The Higgins Engineering Building is coming into view and students are getting excited about it. Commuters and faculty in particular are excited about the project being completed. The construction has created issues with parking and traffic around South Campus. The MC community is hopeful that the building will be worth all the trouble when classes finally start in the new space. That's not all in the construction corner. Let's check in with the 238th Street subway stop on the one train. After several months of inconvenience for some commuters, the construction of the subway stairs and platforms on 238th Street has concluded. Construction began on the northeastern uptown staircase in April 2018. After five months of work, the high entrance reopened on September 2nd with new stairs and a new turnstile. Once concluded, work began later that month on the southeastern uptown staircase as well as the lone downtown staircase. Because the northeastern uptown staircase was operational, uptown commutes were unaffected despite construction on the southeast side. However, since there is only one downtown entrance, downtown one trains did not stop at 238th Street for the entirety of the repairs. The platform officially reopened on January 12th with a complete return to normalcy thereafter. It's that time of year again, Jaspers. Spring Fest is in the air. Students are gearing up for another fun concert after the announcement of this year's acts. I got all the details on the upcoming events. Take a look. Spring Fest is just around the corner and the anticipation is already building. This year, the event is going to be a little bit different than in years past. There will be a triple lineup with three artists performing in Dratty Gymnasium. Thanks to an increased budget, student engagement was able to secure a triple lineup for this year's Spring Fest concert. In addition to that, the weekend will be full of events held on the quad and here in Smith Auditorium. The events will include games, fair activities, contests, and photo opportunities for students. This year's lineup includes 303, Skylar Gray, and Jeremiah. It's going to be really cool that it's like a festival vibe. I'm really excited to see all the other fun events that student government planned. I heard they have a lot of things happening out on the quad, a lot of games for us to partake in. And it's rumored that there will be events here in Smith after the show. This will help in case there's any weather problems like there have been years in the past. Back to you in the studio. Recently, students have more to rock to than just 303. With the revival of the college's radio station, some exciting new waves are being broadcasted across campus. Let's see what's going on in WRCM's new space. Manhattan College's radio station, WRCM, has made a comeback on campus. I went to the Research and Learning Center to interview Aiden Roney, WRCM's Public Relations Director. My name is Aiden Roney, and I am the WRCM Public Relations Director and DJ. Uh, we're located in a former security booth in RLC, so we're down here on the lovely uh, Corlier Avenue. Um, it's really cool to have the windows because we get to see people coming in and out of class while we're doing our shows. Having WRCM back is really fun because we get to have a lot more uh, campus involvement it's just built a community that's really awesome. I've made a lot of connections through the club. Getting to, you know, have this creative outlet is really interesting and really fun. People can listen to WRCM online at wrcm.rocks. Tune in to WRCM Rocks and support your fellow Jaspers. I'm Brendan Haney, signing off. It's springtime here on campus at Manhattan College, and as the weather gets warmer, spring traditions at school are in full effect. Things just got political on campus as student government elections happened last week. For the first time in many years at Manhattan College, a party ran unopposed. The party, Jasper's state of mind, swept the elections, having no opponents to run against. While Jaspers were unable to fulfill their civic duty, the winning party assures that they will be a voice for students on campus, connecting the Jasper community more than ever. Finally, let's take a look into the new truck for the Communication Department's latest sports media concentration, where I caught up with some students during their sports media production class. 
Today we're outside Dratty where the new mobile ESPN production unit has arrived. The Manhattan College Communication Department added a fifth concentration to its curriculum beginning in the 2018-2019 academic year. That concentration is sports media production. While intro classes began on August 27th, 2018, six months later the department welcomed their mobile production unit to campus. The students who take Professor Michael Grabowski's sports media production class are the first students to interact with this truck and all of its state-of-the-art equipment. With the truck, I can, do, I can do more. So there's more technology, there's more cameras, and there's more opportunities for me to learn, which obviously um, is going to be beneficial for me in the long run. The class, which consists of nine Jaspers, is currently getting hands-on experience in different areas of production, such as how to direct, how to replay highlights, and how to shoot games as camera operators. All this work being done now is to prepare them for the 2019-2020 men's and women's basketball seasons, which they will produce themselves via ESPN3. All these skills they will learn throughout the concentration will give them the hands-on experience needed that potential employers look for in internship and job applicants. It just looks great on the resume to show that you both was working on at school and you're not coming out and you're able to, to go on and find a job. Now back to you in the studio. Now you're up to speed. Thanks for joining us at Manhattan College Knowledge. As always, I'm John Jackson. And I'm Haley Burnside. We'll see you next time, Jaspers.